So the plan for today was melting cast aluminium because as you can tell this takes up quite a lot of space. These are uh, jockey wheels from washing machines, uh, motor casings from washing machines, from dishwashers, from uh, dryers, uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I think there's even a, a frame from something in there uh, that is cast alu. Um, I checked everything, it's all relatively the same type. Um, there's probably a couple of different versions but you can usually tell if there's a, a, a significant difference in weight that there's a lot more zinc in there I took all of those out and tossed them in with my uh, cast aloe that I turned in but this is the good stuff slightly better stuff but of course when uh, when you plan something it starts freaking raining so I'm not going to be setting up my big furnace which is still under there somewhere Still charcoal powered. I got a rather large drum that I'm going to be turning into a new furnace in the near future using KO wall and actually turning it into a propane furnace. So no cast aluminium for today. So instead, we're gonna make a new type of bronze today. Hello all and welcome to another metal casting video. I have recently learned about a new alloy a bronze called sunset bronze which consists of 92% copper 3% zinc 3% tin 2% bismuth now the bismuth is something that you don't really get during scrapping if anyone knows a way to find it during scrapping or from what please let me know because I had to buy this bar online it wasn't that expensive but including shipping and stuff uh, i got a one kilogram bar now i only need two percent for this and if i'm going to be making one kilogram that would consist of 20 grams but yeah i'm not going to be buying only a couple of grams when i can buy a whole kilogram so i might uh, do some experimentation with bismuth in uh, the near future but for now uh, it's going to end up in this alloy um, bismuth is a uh, very weird type of uh, metal. It has a uh, rainbow-ish hue to it. You can kind of tell. Um, now there's a website called uh, the Bismuth Smith, and uh, he makes some awesome uh, items uh, from uh, from bismuth. I think he also has uh, uh, videos. Not sure. I'll, I'll link to those. But I've recently learned of this uh, sunset bronze alloy from a uh, fellow metal caster on YouTube. Um, he's uh, from uh, from Belgium, so uh, quite close to me. I'm in the Netherlands. Uh, his channel name is uh, SJW Casting. I'll uh, also link that in the description. And if you like what I do, then you're bound to find what he does interesting as well. So uh, go over there, have a look, um, uh, watch his videos, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. So I've already sorted out uh, some nice uh, relatively clean copper some smudges here and there but there's no like tin or or solder or, or anything on it or, or paint uh, just slightly tarnished some pieces are still nice and shiny but this is exactly 920 grams i found a piece of zinc uh, from the gutters that i used uh, in my previous video only had to snip a couple of corners to turn it into exactly 30 grams and then there was one of those lego men which i had to cut the head off and his toes <laughs> to turn it into exactly 30 grams of tin. Now I'm gonna have to see if I can uh, uh, scrape some of this stuff off. Um, it is quite uh, easy to melt bismuth, it has a low melting point, it's kind of like lead, it's quite heavy and very dense. I think it's slightly lighter in uh, weight than, uh, than lead. But it's basically the safe version of lead. I mean, lead, lead is kind of nasty and bismuth is uh, quite okay to touch and to work with and um, not that bad. So I'm gonna see if I can get uh, 20 grams off of that. I'm going to be using a new crucible for this as well because uh, this one I've been using a couple of times for the Nordic Gold and there's actually slivers of that still in there that I cannot get out, probably because of the borax that's also in there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to unpack this, uh, sort everything, and let's get the melting. Let's see if I can uh, get a 20 gram piece off of this piece of bismuth. So 200 grams would be one fifth. About, would be about this. And 20 grams would be one tenth of that. So a very thin sliver. I wonder if this works. Hopefully not 
cracking my Swiss Army knife in the process. Ooh. This is a mess. It's quite uh, crystally like. It's very brittle. Maybe I'll try to hacksaw off a corner. Looks pretty cool though. Yay, two extra grams. Well, one. This is gonna take a while. So I smashed all the copper bits flat so that I can cram more into the crucible. I got my 20 grams of bismuth in there. Got my mold set up. Got my 30 grams of zinc. Got my 30 grams of tin. A new crucible. Got my new lighting in use now. I'm actually loving this. So much light on my workspace. It's great. Right, so let's see if everything can go into this thing. Carefully slide everything down. Yeah, I'll add the rest later. In there. In the meanwhile, let's play a bit more with this bismuth. You know, this is way easier to get uh, small quantities of this stuff than to actually cut, the, cut it into pieces. I should have done this to begin with. I can already tell the rainbow colors. Look at this piece of art. I hope this shows up on camera. I'm definitely going to be experimenting a bit more with this bismuth. It's cool stuff. Let's turn these 20 grams that I painstakingly broke off and grind it off into a nice solid little piece. Yeah, it melts pretty quick just like uh, just like tin and pewter. All solid and cooled down. Let's see if it's still 20 grams. 20 grams. Right so Melting a bit off is way easier than trying to cut it. Mental note to self. This is almost at a thousand. Nice and shiny in there. It'll take uh, at least a couple more minutes. I'll get back to you when uh, it's all molten. So the copper is now all molten. Zoom in on that, kind of. Let's add, to start with, a little tin. That's gonna be gone in 
like only a few seconds. Whoops. There goes the bismuth. Not much of a reaction either. Looks to be all pretty clean. Now for 30 grams of zinc. This is going to be a somewhat violent reaction. Hope there's not too much zinc burn off. Oh. Yes, that's everything. Tiny little sliver at the bottom. Apparently this ingot was too hot for the phone to handle. Really need to work on that heat shield that I wanted to make for this. See if this thing will come out now. It's like a couple of beads on there. Is that the bismuth coming out? That is weird. It's like it hasn't mixed in properly. There we go. Yeah, it, it didn't mix in proper. That is really weird. Still solid on the, the ingot is solid, but the bismuth is fluid. I might have to remelt this thing. It's definitely the bismuth coming out and it's still liquid. I'm, uh, I'm going to gather all the pieces and uh, remelt this whole uh, thing. That was all by the looks of it. Should be solid now. See if this thing will come out. And again, my phone overheated. There we go. Well, at least there's no blobs of there's no blobs of uh, bismuth coming out. I think everything mixed a lot better now. Oh, I spoke too soon. Look at that. Oh well, let's just dunk this in the water. That little bubble dropped out.
Well, let's uh, give this a wire brush and see uh, see what we got in ways of uh, color. So this polished up pretty good. Um, apparently when using a brass wire brush, uh, the brass will paint itself on the ingot. It started to turn all yellowish, which I didn't uh, want to happen because uh, I want to get the original color. Uh, so I used the steel wire brush. Now at first glance this might look like just nicely nice and shiny copper, but I think um, in comparison, this is kind of like phosphor bronze uh, in color. It's uh, it's slightly lighter than uh, actual copper. Here's a, a copper bar. This is pure copper. This is a, a leftover pour which I uh, brushed only the back side off. So there is a slight variation in color. It's quite difficult to tell, probably. I wonder if that even shows up on camera. This one is slightly lighter in color. This is more pinkish and this is more orangey. Like the sunset. Hence sunset bronze. So I'm not going to be uh, mirror polishing this thing because well you know this is just uh, a bar. The, the second uh, uh, time melting it and, and casting it, it, it came out uh, better consistency. There was uh, very little of the bismuth that uh, came out. And um, yeah, the color came out nice. So I'm going to be using this uh, for the same project I want to use the Nordic Gold for. I'll probably make a couple of different versions of the pendant that I want to make. Now, the pendant is from a video game and uh, the tribe in this video game that actually has those pendants they worship the sun, so Sunset Bronze is actually a fitting uh, fitting alloy to use, uh, I guess. So uh, yeah, um, that's going to be uh, a future project. So this bismuth is actually pretty cool. I've uh, had some fun uh, playing with it and uh, it melts pretty easily. Made uh, this little ingot and I will be trying to cast that in some silicone molds pretty soon. So that was it for this video, Sunset Bronze. Uh, all the information will be in the description and uh, check out uh, the Bismuth Smith if uh, you want to know more about uh, what you can do with Bismuth and uh, check out SJW Casting. Uh, his channel he does uh, metal casting just like me and uh, that is where I learned about sunset bronze so thank you for watching and see you all on the next one